If you have a tracheostomy, we're bypassing the normal humidification route, which is the nose. We might be giving someone extra oxygen, which can dry them out more. And if you're sick, you're often quite dehydrated, which is going to have a, a drying effect on secretions in the lungs. So we think of humidification in terms of a humidification ladder that we can move up if a patient's secretions are getting thicker and move back down as patients get better. So Buchanan bib is at the bottom of the ladder it's a form of passive humidification, so it's not adding any moisture into what the patient's breathing. We'd usually use it once the patient's off oxygen. The Swedish nose is a form of humidification towards the bottom of the ladder that we can use on any spontaneously breathing tracheostomy patient. When we're using oxygen, we need to humidify it. So we would use a cold water bath to humidify oxygen therapy that we're delivering to a patient normally when it's running at a low flow. We could use nebulizers at any point in the humidification ladder to try to improve humidification. Uh, they're an extra adjunct that will help to loosen secretions further. When we're giving extra oxygen or, or ventilation to a patient, we might use a heated humidifier which adds heat to the circuit as well as moisture, allowing the air and oxygen to pick up more moisture as it passes through the circuit.